It's got a little speed to it. I can't lie. It's getting kind of close. It's been a little too close for comfort. Come on, finish him off. Finish him off. Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to the Summoner Master Mode playthrough. We're here. I got this mimic. I cut out the footage of me getting out the getting this mimic in the last episode because the last episode would have been like 50 minutes. Uh, but pretty much you get it from an obsidian crate. Same thing with this other pet. This one, the imp pet. Look at it. Beautiful. But yeah, we're here. It's time to fight the wall of flesh. So the plan or the goal for this episode is to beat the wall of flesh, retake on the old one's army. That's another goal I want to do. And then probably get our hands on the spider set. That's if we beat the wall of flesh this episode, because I have a feeling this might be a tough episode. And instead of doing a minecart track, uh, I'm going to be doing a planter box bridge. I usually always do minecarts because it's easier to do minecarts. Uh, but this time I'm going to do a planter bridge pretty much from one side of the world to the other just to be safe so there's gonna be a lot of off camera as per usual but uh, i'm ready where the hell i need to go talk to the dryad because obviously i gotta get buying planters all right i just want to give a status update it's been like an hour hour or something uh this is hello don't attack me let me get some peace and quiet this is why it's taking so long but look how much i've built sweet that's the middle over here somewhere near the middle not bad right honestly i might go short just to see like maybe we don't even need it from end to end you know maybe i say end to middle and then maybe like halfway to the other end i feel like that's good because uh, I, I have faith i have faith in these imps they, they penetrate so if i target the wall flesh's eye and i'm not planning to whip at all i'm planning to ballista spam the whole time but if i target the wall of flesh's eye and just ballista spam the whole time then all we have to do is just walk backwards focus on not dying that's about it all right old one's army rematch let's do it i hope i don't know i've been told that other staffs are better i can't afford those other staffs it's all good <laughs> we'll figure it out wait did the first wave start already oh i wasn't ready yeah last time we had frogs for this so i think anything's an upgrade at this point point. and the goal is i'm gonna put all ballistas on one side and well we'll worry about the other side something like that and i know for the last wave we're supposed to focus the what was it called dark mage yeah we're supposed to focus the dark mage because i think the last wave you start at 99 percent and you just gotta kill the dark mage or I'm, I'm actually not sure on that but let's do it i watched the gungnir's episode where he like barely won it i'm hoping that the same thing happens here okay maybe not barely win i'm hoping for a full win full win that's what i want yeah i got the summoning potion we got the, the bewitching table and i still get a lot of comments people are like like why did you even go through all the effort of getting the bewitching table early with the dungeon guardian you could just buy it it's like that just shows me that people don't know their terraria bro that just shows me you know i did that one like minecraft in terraria video and people were on my ass because i made a little mistake and you know anytime i do make a little mistake i got hundreds of people on my ass and then i got a bunch of people telling me how to do something and it ain't even correct it's like you hate to see it man they think they know it all but they don't they're just like me wave complete what was that wave three okay wave three is the easy wave so this is where stuff is gonna get hard do you think all these ballistas can uh defend this side while i'm on the other side i hope so i really do hope so i'm gonna put more back here but people told me to use the lightning aura rod that one is really good you like set one up behind the portal and set one up in front of the portal and it pretty much just like spawn kills most of the things here and uh, that sounds like a good idea we'll try that in the future oh shit the, the crystal is under attack what the heck you guys have one job one job you can't do it oh my god just just do your job just kill kill the stuff all right okay come on let's get it final wave where's that black mage at black mage i'm coming for you where are you let me see if i can get enough mana here to be able to place another staff still no black mage yet okay all good going over here to help out come on hit it okay nice okay where's the black mage he's over here he's not over here okay okay left side left side left side come on boys left side get that all right right there get him oh god I gotta, I gotta help out here. I know a bunch of people are getting on my ass about me using the uh, Shield of Cthulhu dash. Yeah, I know it's melee, but if we're, if we're playing that strict on the rules, that means the playthrough should have ended in the first 30 seconds of the first episode because I accidentally hit those slimes with my pickaxe. So if we're, if we're playing with rules like that, it was like I messed up a long time ago. But you know what I mean. We're still pure summoner at heart, but occasionally I might accidentally hit a thing or two. But there you go. Event over, right? We did it. Yes, sir. Dark Mage's Tome. Oh, shoot. We got the mount, too. Nice. 
Hey, can you guys, they're still attacking it, even though it's over already. We done did it. Uh, it just took us to have, you know, the imps a little bit stronger of a summon than the frogs that we were using and the hornets, whatever that we were using the first time we did it. And uh, I had a better plan there to focus the dark mage. We got the mount. You guys want to see the mount? It's pretty much the flying carpet. That's really it. It's just a, it's just like a better flying carpet. That's it. It's not that good of a mount, for being honest. It's got a little speed to it. I can't lie. But uh, I don't know. I think I'd rather use anything else. I mean, I guess maybe I'll use this when we fight the wall flesh. I don't know. Like, I think I'd rather use this thing. This thing lets me, like, get through water very easily. But yeah, back to the wall of flesh. Now that I've conquered that. Uh, I've also been told to farm the old one's army now before I beat a mech boss. Okay, not now. We can do it in hard mode. But I've been told to farm it before you fight a mech boss because it gets obviously harder to farm and i've also been told to buy a bunch of crystals because they get more expensive i mean we're not worried about gold we're not worried about gold we already got 62 platinum from the seashell bug which i'm surprised they still haven't patched out because you know terraria they're usually on that unless it's like you know 1.3 to 1.4 patching you know they've, they've been on bug fixes immediately when a new update comes out but yeah wall of flesh you see that you see that line right here all the way from the left side to almost yeah almost the end of the right side about like half like i said in the past i think i don't know this clip is like a day later from the last couple of clips but if that isn't enough to beat the wall of flesh then i don't know what is i don't know what is we gotta make a whole damn arena but here comes my next goal for the wall of flesh and that is i'm going to set up a whole entire set of buffs I'm talking about heart lanterns, I'm talking about campfires, um, probably honey things, uh, sunflowers. I'm going to set that up and that should be the last step we need to do before we fight the wall of flesh. I'm here in a blood moon and I got another vampire frog staff. You know, after a blood moon, I want to spend my time doing a goblin invasion. I don't want to fight the wall of flesh or anything this episode. It is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Wall of flesh versus pure summoner quote unquote pure summoner because i bashed into a couple things in my shield it's time to go let's do it i'm ready i'm not gonna be using the whip like at all let that be known i'm not gonna be using the whip at all we should just start it before stuff goes crazy well we might use the whip like once or twice but the goal here target his eye and let hell unleash okay bad start bad start i was supposed to dip into the honey it's because i have water walking okay hey the eyeball everyone the eyeball the eyeball that are the eyeball right there yeah there's a reason why i'm not whipping is so you guys target the eyeball come on so yeah we want mana because we want a ballista spam obviously and i'm gonna try and summon my ballista far down so it keeps shooting the eye damage is going good so far damage is going good so far because this is the main thing about summoner we want the targeting thing to target what we want to kill and that is the, the the bottom eye the top eye it's easier to shoot the bottom eye for obvious reasons there's less stuff covering it but uh you know summoner low key is kind of easy because of that but also we got the penetration from the imps we got a lot of things going for us i don't know why i thought this was not going to be possible well like i said i i had an inclination is that the right word to use that it is actually possible but it would take a little to take a little extra effort but this right here is taking no little extra effort the biggest effort was just making a hell bridge and that's for every playthrough that's legit like the biggest effort for every playthrough in pre-hard mode and it's going good as long as my imps can keep up you know attacking that bottom eye i keep up spawning in this ballista then it's gonna go good it's gonna go good i have to manually dip myself in the honey oh wait hold up we have an extra imp i gotta remember it. we're supposed to have five imps and i totally forgot that i used the summoner potion and that's the reason why we have five but it's going good we got so much floor to run on still so i'm not worried at all we're barely taking damage we have so much mana like this is doable easily doable and again i'm surprised how many people told me that it was impossible that they had to use another secondary class to help them beat it but this seems doable he might get a little faster and this might get a little dangerous because of it come on shoot the eye the ballista i'm noticing the ballista is shooting at other things sometimes our health is kind of getting low that's kind of scary let's not die here especially the since we're coming to the end i'm just gonna space out a little bit more I just keep on hoping that my boys are doing what they need to do and that is just put off damage while i maintain being back here Ooh, that's gonna hurt a little bit come on it's getting kind of close it's getting a little too close for comfort i need to keep backing up though i can't get hit we're getting hit a lot i'm just gonna back all the way up okay out we're getting hit a lot come on finish him off finish him off finish him off 
Let's go. That got kind of close. That got kind of close. Is automatic lasers going off right there that, that made it a little scary at the end? But it's more than possible. And look how much room we had to run. It's it's pretty insane how possible that was. Like I said, a little scary at the end. But it's still more than possible. And you love to see it. We're making big progress here in the summoner master mode playthrough. And we're in hard mode now. This is honestly where summoner gets a little easy. Oh, we're already getting uh, souls of light. I might stay down here. I might stay down here a little bit. If we're getting souls of light, I could just chill right here and get a, get a couple souls of light. Let me see. Let me see if I get some more. All right. So obviously if you haven't seen master mode stuff before, boom, we got the goat. That's the master mode drop from the wall of flesh. Kind of upset that it doesn't drop a pet and this mount but it's fine i kind of wish that every boss dropped a master mode pet but that's what we have mods for they'll do it in the future but this thing extremely fast is great mount uh it's gonna replace my flamingo for now treasure bag did we get a summoner emblem hell no why would we but there you go we get an extra slot open i did actually take off the frog gear for the obsidian shield and i think that was a great choice uh because that made it so we weren't getting knocked around everywhere but there you go we're in master mode we're in hard mode now uh things are gonna be a little bit harder but for summoner it's honestly not that bad because it's so easy to get a armor set at the beginning i really wish i got a summoner emblem that means i have to fight the wall of flesh again uh, i don't know how i feel about that because uh, it got a little scary towards the end of that fight but yeah let me move some stuff around here add our beautiful trophy to this collection honestly another favorite feature about master mode are these trophies they just look so cool but yeah let's let's get to it it's time to find some spiders in this episode i do want to also farm i don't know what it's called blade staff is, is that what it's called blade staff right it's the staff that drops from the enchanted swords whatever the hell they're called in the hollowed underground hollowed and a lot of people are like haha good luck getting that that's a hard drop it's like i haven't been trying to get hard drops this whole entire playthrough so i I, I take that good luck thank you for wishing me good luck how kind of you but yeah let's see here we got a corrupted desert that's what you like to see i need to check out everything see what's corrupted or not because i went out of my way to anti-corrupt everything anti-corrupt i placed what there are not enough villages near oh the guy died i forgot about that i placed a bunch of sunflowers as you can see in uh, multiple areas to hopefully stop the spread of corruption but I guess we won't know until we see it in person. But yeah, let's find a spider nest. Let's get to it. Boom, spider nest spotted. Let's get to it. Honestly, it might be a good time to start switching to menacing. You know, I've always been a warding person, but for summoner, menacing might be pretty decent just for a little extra output of damage. Maybe like a little half and half. Some people told me that they they rock like half warding, half summoning or half warding, half menacing. Uh, that might be good. I'm trying to be as safe as possible while farming this. Let's see here. De-summon all of them and then go like this perfect but yeah it's time to sit here and do this until we get like what is it like 60 or 70 we need to make the sentry and to make the staff and then to make the armor it's around that we have the perfect number of spider fangs 76 i looked it up on the wiki we ended up exactly with 76 you love to see it let's go ahead let's store our goodies here we also have a poison staff i don't really need this here you go mister you can have that okay so we can make the full set and the two staves and I just noticed, not only did the Wall of Flesh not drop a summoner badge, he didn't drop the firecracker. I just noticed that. Did he really not drop the firecracker or did I just like put it away on accident? I might have put it away on accident. I'm not seeing it though. I don't, I don't think he dropped it. I thought that was a guaranteed drop. I don't know. I've gotten it every time I fought him. The whole like two times I fought him. But yeah, let's make this armor here. You don't need a specific anvil or anything, which makes it a lot easier to craft this as your first set, especially if you're not doing a class specific set. And we're gonna make this spider staff first, just in case I didn't have enough. Yep, I have perfectly enough. Just like I said, boom, bada, bing, it's upgrade time, baby. So what, we get three minions guaranteed, plus the regular one that you have, you know, just normally. So that's four, plus the bewitching table, that's five summons no potions needed beautiful let's see it in action we're obviously going to switch to the spider staff the spider staff is going to be better i think we'll still keep the imps we're going to finally get rid of the frogs you hate to see it i, I love the frogs I love how they look maybe i don't really like how good they are they're, they're kind of eh. you know what i'm saying kind of eh. but the imps they're still pretty good they penetrate they shoot fire they can be useful at some point but it's time for the newbies the new spider bros time to shine now you may be wondering why they died it's this critter shampoo right here but look at that mm, who doesn't love spiders why'd i say mm? all right here comes the hard part part that might take a long time to do that wow all my npcs in the desert aren't there anymore because of corruption sweet that's wow i fucking hate the corruption i hate that it just kicks everything out bro like come on man oh i don't have a desert pylon anymore no i do have i do have this 
I should move some of these NPCs out. I have a mushroom pylon um, because I, I just figured out that you can make these. And we could probably get the, the mushroom NPC. Ew, what is this? Why does it move like that? But yeah, let's go find a hollowed underground. And it's time to try and get the blade staff. It's called something like that. I, I, I don't know the exact name. Never got it before. But it has a rare drop. It is a 2.86% chance drop. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to we need to get the hard, the hard mode ores and stuff set up too. So we got a bunch of things to do i guess i'll see you hours from now <laughs> okay i know you're staring at a black screen but i just wanted to have an outro i spent like two hours trying to farm for the blade staff it just wasn't happening i killed a bunch of them i killed at least i'm saying a bunch like 30 to 40 is a bunch but that's all that was spawning bro and i was trying to record every time i killed one just so i got the moment of me getting the blade staff on camera but it's just tough man it's tough we're going to end this episode here only because I want to get this episode out to you guys so you can watch it because this might take me a couple days to get this blade staff. But thank you everyone for watching. Become a channel member. Yep, here I am farming months. Okay, it's probably been like an hour at least farming for the blade staff. We got a routed discord. It's not a blade staff. It's not the rod I'm looking for. That sounds kind of sus, but I'll take it anyways because it is the rod of discord and I've heard people farming days for uh, the rotted discord. It's all because I got these hollow torches, baby. Look at them.